Hey guys, what's up, Daniel here. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at the new second generation AirPods. Now these are just came out, they're $160, which is the same price as the originals, and they have pretty much the exact same features. There's really nothing great or all new here. This is more of a refresh and kind of just a little spec bumper improvement until we get the actual true second gen AirPods, which will probably have some water resistance or better water resistance. And uh, maybe some new colors or something. And I'm guessing that's gonna come along with the iPhone 11. It makes sense to take it out then with maybe USB-C if they do decide to change it. So that's why we got this refresh version that we're gonna go over here and check out. So here I have my original set and the new set. The cases without the wireless charging feature are the exact same thing. I mean, these might as well be the exact same AirPods. There's nothing that you can see that will tell them apart, except for the fact that my AirPod case is a little yellow tinted and I hadn't really noticed that until I put them side by side. So uh, yeah, my AirPods and the case for the AirPods have gotten a little yellow over time. How I think it's been like almost like two years now since the AirPods came out and uh, that's bound to happen with plastic. And yeah, no other differences there. If you do get the wireless charging case, it is a little bit larger and stuff, but I don't plan on getting the wireless charging case just because for a product like this, I don't personally, need that benefit of docking it and just letting it charge like that. I actually have one of these and I have, I went over it with the uh, headphones video. I have a little um, metal dongle adapter thingy that attaches to the bottom and then it allows me to use a magnetic cable, kind of like the MagSafe on the older MacBooks to just charge these. So that's what I use to charge on my micro USB devices like my Xbox controller and uh, my uh, keyboard and mouse as well as all my lightning devices. So the uh, AirPods and my Magic Keyboard and a couple other things. So uh, I use one cable for those things and then for my phone I do use a wireless charger because I feel like that's something that you actually dock on and off, on and off, on and off and I'm using all the time. Don't use these that much. So uh, you know, it makes sense to just like once a week go and plug it in and then charge them up. So yeah, let's go ahead and talk about some of the new features on these and uh, it's not that many new things but you know, it is slightly newer so it is better if you were planning on getting AirPods like couple weeks ago and these came out, then these are obviously now better than the originals by a slight margin, mainly because they do have slightly better battery life. So if you have the originals and you found yourself running out of battery life more often, and uh, you know, maybe 30 minutes of charge or you need know, a couple more, then uh, these are gonna be better than that. Of course, you're also gonna get Siri capability. So you can just say like blank, blank, you know, the magic word and uh, ask it anything, do anything. And it's actually really nice because it has a nice like just, it kind of slowly pauses your music and then you can talk to it. It's definitely much faster than double tapping on the original AirPods and then it bringing up your phone and it takes a much longer through that and it's almost instant here. After you say the key word and you say something, it's basically instant compared to that where it has to connect to the phone, bring up the phone and blah, blah, blah. And you kind of have to wait, there's a pause. It's really not that great of a feature if you have something like an Apple Watch, which you can do basically the same thing. I don't even have to say the key word, I can just bring it up like this and tell it to skip track or whatever, or do something and it's gonna do it. But uh, I could imagine if you're bike riding or something like that, you don't wanna touch anything else. You don't wanna remove the hands from the handlebar or anything. You just say the magic words and uh, you know you can tell it to do something. So it's definitely nice capability that it can do that. It is always on, so it's not a feature you can turn off to possibly increase battery life, which kind of sucks. But yeah, as far as going over, I did do a review of these a while back, but overall, for me, they are actually my favorite earbuds, headphones, whatever, for listening to music. They fit perfectly in my ears. When I say perfectly, I mean perfectly. I can wear these for hours without it ever bothering me at all. That I can do, if I could do flips and stuff, these would not fall out. Um, I can do anything and they just stay stuck on my ears like glue, which is amazing. And of course, it varies by person. There's people I know that these will not fit in their ears whatsoever and it's very uncomfortable. And of course, I can totally understand that not working for a lot of people. However, if you know that AirPods or the EarPods work on you, then these are really amazing and they are truly the best wireless uh, earbuds in the market. They just work so seamless, they're nice and light, and uh, you know, even if I do look like a doofus, I don't care. I don't know why so many people do care. I just, you know, if something works for you, don't care what other people think. Use it, enjoy it, and have fun. That's what I think about it. You know, I always take them to the gym, take them rock climbing, take them everywhere. I don't see many people with them on. I don't care. I'm really enjoying this. No wires whatsoever. Connect super easy. I can connect them to my watch. 
leave my phone at home, use my watch with cellular, listen with the AirPods, and everything works so perfectly in, with this ecosystem and everything. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. If you have any questions, feel free to drop it down below in the comments, and I'll get back to you guys there. You can also reach out to me on Twitter, at RMRDNL, or on Instagram, at the same handle, and I always reply there as well when I get the chance. But uh, yeah, those are the new refreshed AirPods, and uh, if you have the first gen, definitely just skip it. It's not really worth it unless you really, really need a little bit more battery life or the uh, command to Siri capability. If you haven't had AirPods and you've been waiting for them to take out new ones, you know, you could buy these, you're really gonna like them, or you could wait a little bit more to see if during a WWDC or one of Apple's fall events coming closer to the iPhone 11, we will get some cool new ones with maybe USB type C or maybe some matte black ones, something along those lines. It's bound to happen. It pretty much has to happen at this point. There's no way they can just ignore something like that. But uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Goodbye.